This week I show you the quickest and easiest metal you can possibly do. So I was recently up at Element Games for a DeploymentZone.tv event and I found these awesome little Fallout miniatures. I don't usually go in for miniatures outside of Warhammer 40k, but I was really excited about these guys. I mean, they're basically just normal human space marines, right? So anyway, let's get started. Here's the quick way to do metal. First, you've got to take your miniature outside and spray it. Oh, crap. First, you've got to take your miniature outside and spray it black. This will be the shadow starting layer for our metals. Next, take some Vallejo metal color, dark aluminium. It's just incredible. I think I recommend it every episode. You wanna get a large flat brush and put a good amount of paint on it and then wipe off most of the excess on a paper tissue. Now this isn't dry brushing. This is just to stop the very watery paint as it is an airbrush paint flowing into the shadows. We're gonna use a dry brushing style technique, however, to cover the vast majority of this guy leaving the darkest parts black and after just one coat he's already looking excellent. Moving straight into our highlight colour we're going to use the Vejo metal colour silver. Using the exact same technique but in a more targeted fashion and with less on the brush we're going to add our highlights. This also gives us a nice brushed metal effect. No pun intended. And if you want clean metal this is where you can end it. This is how easy this is. But uh, if you want to dirty it up, stick around. First, Bram. Thanks Bram. Now let's get on to our rust effects. Using some Mornfang Brown that I've thinned down quite heavily in about a 50-50 ratio, I'm going to start adding this to a few key recesses and details across the armour. This is the first layer of our dark rust effects. This is a really oddly satisfying step of the process and I still haven't quite figured out why, but it's just really enjoyable. I think it's a little bit destructive, you know you made this lovely metal and now you're covering it with gunk but I don't know it's just great with the dark rust done we're now going to go in with a lighter shade of rust using Jacaro orange we're going to focus this inside the areas we covered with our Mornfang brown in about a 50 50 water to paint consistency you can be much more sparing with this, it's a brighter colour, this is our mid-tone rust. You can also use this on its own in a few areas to show some lighter rust gathering. I'm going fairly heavy with the weathering and rust effects because these guys are, you know, from the wasteland. Yes, they're Brotherhood of Steel, but I like to think they've been on patrol for a fair amount of time. And this can easily apply to Space Marines, Admech, anything in 40k really. Now for our final layer of rust, we're going to go in with Luganoth Orange. This is a really bright colour, so use it sparingly. And as you can see here, I actually thinned the paint down a bit too much. It's already quite thin out of the pot. I should have used less water, so I had some tide marks left over, which if you've ever looked at rust, it's not leaving tide marks. <laughs> this, however, is easy enough to fix, and we'll come onto that in a bit. The final crime against cleanliness we're going for today is using some Nylac Oxide to drag some oxidization down from the rust where it's been raining etc and it's gone slightly green. Just make sure it's fairly thin and pull a nice streaky mess down from the patch of rust you spent your time creating. This has the added benefit of just adding some amazing extra colours to our metal that otherwise would have just been silver. There's nothing wrong with just silver but I like things to be bright and saturated and these rust effects really help. 
Here he is all done and this is when I noticed the watermarks, so I decided to go back in with my Luganoth orange and just make them a bit streaky so it makes sense as if the water has been depositing the rust further down and it would make a bit more sense for the unsightly tide marks. It's easy enough to fix just going with a thicker layer of paint and a sharp brush and take your time. I say take your time, the whole process from bare resin to this stage took about 20 minutes. This is rapid. That's all our metal layers done, let's power through the rest of the model. Whew, and with that, our Brotherhood of Steel Knight is done. Just to clean up the base and he's ready to go. I love these little Fallout miniatures and I'm definitely going to be picking up some more. There's definitely room for some experimentation with this metal technique. With that aside, I've been Sam. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.